Hello everyone, today we have uh, two guests here and the first one is the CEO from Miss Globe uh, Group, uh, Albert and the second one is uh, Lena Jennison, right? So would you please say hi to our audience? Hi everyone, and thank you so much for having us and uh, we're here to welcome Miss Globe and Albert and hi to all CMTV viewers and uh, it's not our first time here CNTV has become our second home. Uh, we are doing the Miss Globe shows and Miss Globe Canada finals, as well as Miss Maple. So in 2019, we just launched the new season and uh, with a show towards August. We're gonna talk more about that. We have a very special guest and we have special guests coming up. So we'll leave it to Oscar to present all of them. Yeah, actually, Albert, it's not our first time meeting each other. And today we have a very, very special guest. So would you please introduce the guest first and let the uh, guest to say something? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's, it's a big honor to have Lynette here with us today. Uh, she's a very special person and a very special personal friend of mine. Uh, what we are, uh, what she brings uh, is a little bit unconventional. I will let her explain. But uh, in a way, we, ha we have been very blessed to have people like her uh, come and enhance our lives, especially our spiritual lives. So, Lynette, up to you. Mm. Yes, it's such an honor to be here. So thank you so much, both of you, for having me. Um, Miss Globe is very dear to my heart because I'm really loving the fact that the beauty really lies within our hearts. And mm. what Albert uh, is referring to is my near-death experience. So years ago, several years ago, um, I crossed the veil and crossed into heaven during heart surgery. And I uh, was uh, not on this planet for eight minutes and it was the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Um, I have full understanding and full recollection and I'm here to share with not just certain people and not just uh, a certain country, I'm here to share with uh, every person on the planet because we're, we are very connected all as one. So the only time we have separations is really when we create them. So I really love that uh, Miss Globe comes from the heart and the authenticity of beauty from the heart uh, is very appealing to me and I'm just honored to be here to discuss it today. So what do you think of beauty right now? So. Yeah, beauty, uh, we live in a beautiful, beautiful planet. Mm. The world, uh, there's so much mystery, there's so much magic, there's so many synchronicities. And a lot of times we uh, miss this, you know, for various reasons. We are, we are not connected to our own hearts and we're not connected to the planet. Mm. Uh, and we're definitely not connected at times to each other. Mm. So I feel that Miss Globe does a great job of uh, empowering the women to connect to their own hearts and uh, therefore the beauty shines from within mm. uh, definitely um, you know you can definitely feel when someone is carrying the vibration of love or forgiveness or unconditional love and that's really what the world needs right now so anything that supports that um, and getting rid of these separations I love that you embrace all cultures mm. And, um, you know, uh, it just really, I think that the divine choreography, which is what I, I, um, I really live by, uh, is very important to me. And this seems like it's very much aligned. Mm. So um, would you please talk a little more about that eight minutes? What did you see and what did you hear? Sure, yeah. I'm actually, I'm, I've, I'm, we're about to launch a book. Mm. and uh, I do a documentary mm. about uh, sort of my way through the past three years mm. of basically unlearning everything I've ever learned, mm. uh, which is not an easy thing to do, and to go so deeply in the heart that you can feel your way through. You, things resonate or they don't resonate. Mm. It's black or it's white, there's no gray area. Mm. So you're really choosing to live uh, of the highest honor and integrity. Mm. Um, you're choosing people that uh, also, um, you know, share your, your feelings mm. and share, share some of your thoughts. Mm. Uh, Like-minded people can, can really um, have a message. And I think that this one 
really empowers women and uh, gives them a voice, gives them a business platform at times. Mm. You know, it's, it's helping them to really plant the seed, and that my book is actually called The Seed. The seed. So there, yeah, okay. the seed. Mm. Uh, so it's planting the seed within, mm. and it's you guys are really watering them and mm. allowing them to bloom and grow, and miracles really can come from that. Okay, so what, when are going to publish your book? The book is almost finished, mm. and I'm waiting to align with the right publisher okay. because it's not going to have an author. So mm. it, it actually. It's a different, everything I'm doing is really different than what we know. And mm. that's, that's basically what I've had to go through over the past three years, unlearning everything. So the, the important message, uh, the book is not really so much about me or even mm. my near-death experience. The message is that when we invite in uh, divine guidance from the other side, whatever that looks like, and we stop fighting over religion, um, then this can really enhance our way of living mm. and elevate ourselves uh, so that we can accomplish, like really we're limitless. And I think that if you guys can create a message, you know, starting with these beautiful women mm. uh, from all over the world, that they really have no limits. The limits will only be placed on themselves by themselves. Mm. Um, so when we understand this, this sort of the secrets of life mm. and how to uh, really lift your soul and heal it. Um, this is sort of what my book is about. Okay, so about the movies? The movie is mm. the same. The movie is actually uh, the, the, how I connect with these people that I saw in heaven. Mm. I saw that there was 144 people actually mm. uh, that were all coming in and coming to meet me and this gentleman is one of them. <laughs> um, and I don't have to try, this was very effortless mm. and um, you know everything will align and resonate. There won't be much uh, like push-pull conflict. It, it, things just seem to unfold mm. organically and authentically. And I feel that this is really the way that the world is going in now. Everything mm. is, is uh, coming away from artificial or uh, even superficial and uh, the new vibration or the new paradigm that we're living in now that we're entering is really about uh, being true to yourself and true to each other. Mm. So Drew, uh, would you please give some advice to our girls yes. that is going to come to our... Okay. I would love yes. to. So just basically just that. So if they can just really stay true to themselves mm. and um, just say yes to, the, to you know, anything that they fear. Because really, when you have fears, they can be lifted and cleared. And uh, they're very learned and conditioned. Most of the time, it has to do with what other people think around us. Mm. So when they really go deep within their heart and they feel deeply... I can do this. It's like this little voice and ask for help from whatever they're comfortable asking for help and being open uh, to more than what we see every day around us. I think mm. that's the key is really staying open uh, to more and to more love and more understanding and no limits like really waking up each morning and just connecting so that they can continue to thrive uh, and not get in their own way or not lose sight of what is real and what is important in life. Mm. So how do they meet each other? They uh, each other? Yes, so as you know or as the, our mm. audience knows and CNTV, mm. uh, we are part of uh, most of the film activities that mm. happen in Toronto as well as uh, you know throughout the world. Mm. So our uh, primary focus and business is film, so mm. we are filmmakers. And uh, we met at the uh, CFC party, which is Canadian Film Center, mm. uh, which we were invited. Uh, it was through our other friends that, uh, you know, we both common friends we, we knew uh, from before. And it was, you know, very interesting because I asked some conventional questions. Mm. And I will go back to the film, as, as you asked. Uh, Leo DiCaprio has done Inception. Mm. And the net is doing the seed, so mm. inception and seed, you know the uh, the concept. Yeah. So all these great directors, actors, people that are pushing the envelope, they're trying to find what's beyond the veil. Like what mm. is, what else mm. is, you know, besides the material things that, that we see. Mm. And old cultures, as we might say, Chinese culture or old uh, European cultures mm. or uh, uh, Hindi or uh, any of these beliefs. 
uh, they, in the old books, they, they, they portray, they, somehow they, they bring that up. But until now, it's, you know, almost nobody in the world can, uh, you know, bring that experience back. Okay. So it's very unique. And uh, talking about the film, as she said, uh, the film is unique too. They're uh, top directors, top actors, uh, top people in the film industry that are looking for these very unique ideas and very unique, uh, exceptionally unique uh, yes. uh, uh, topics. And one of them is this. Uh, everybody, as soon as they hear about that, they're, they're ready, they jump in, they, they're ready to, uh, to help. So what, what do you want a lady to share to the girls, in your opinion? Uh, I, I think that what, what we're doing next, and, and this is, uh, the, the book is first, basically, and, and the film is next. However, uh, I've been suggesting to her and we are uh, working on a documentary because mm. there are so many beautiful experiences happening mm. and even though they're in a spiritual level one-to-one, -one, but they go undocumented for the rest of us or mm. other people. So we don't want to miss that and we want to capture that as well in, in film. Uh, and what uh, we are planning to do and, and uh, she is willing to do, to do a, um, uh, should we call it, not a reading, but but uh, you know, meditation. a meditation session yeah. with a lot of people. Mm. So. I call it a shared meditation okay. because I don't feel that I'm a teacher mm. in any way. I feel that we all um, are equally capable of pulling in the energies mm. and understanding like I can see and like I do understand. Mm. So I call it a shared space of meditation. And I do this with uh, thousands of people from mm. all over the world who find me of course, through divine choreography, mostly. Um, and all these incredible artists that I've just traveled to see some, like a director, for example. I'm in Rome, uh, my script writers are in Rome, but mm. yet at my hotel is the most famous opera singer in the mm. world. Mm. And these kind of things happen to me daily. So nothing surprises me anymore. Mm. And everyone shows up and they have their heart on their sleeve and they really understand that they're here to help with something that they may not fully understand and we go into shared meditation so that they can see, so that they can deeply feel. Mm. And I've been meditating with Albert who's doing great mm. and uh, you know, it doesn't matter who it is that I'm meditating with, sometimes they even get information for me. Mm. And it's a, it's a very beautiful experience. And, and so we don't need to have these spiritual gurus like we think we do. We really just need to believe in ourselves and just to believe that there's more. And I think that that really is what we want to capture in a documentary. And the feature film will show uh, many different perspectives of how I got to here and very creatively so I, I'm looking very forward to that and there's even talk of a TV show afterwards oh, so I think that we, we will make sure that we're available mm. uh, in any way shape or form to get the message out uh, and share with as many people in the world okay. Okay. so going yes. back to your question mm. uh, for the contestants of Miss Globe mm. would be very beneficial for them as mm. some of them show uh, they come from different walks of life with, mm. uh, you know, a certain fears or, or certain, uh, uh, you know, not impediments, but, oh, yeah. you know, and, and through her, yeah. we hope that, that it's going to be alleviated and, mm. and they're going to prosper and go to the next level. Okay. And uh, she has been great to uh, offer her, herself and yeah. then her heart and then her mind. And actually, we didn't have a chance uh, to go last year in China, but this year for sure it's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's China gonna happen. Day. Yes, okay. the finals, the world finals uh, in China. Mm. So we have two more years in China, the mm. 2019 and 2020. Mm. So and she's welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you never been to China, right? I have never. No, I uh, can't wait to go. Okay, China yeah. is a really pretty. Place. Yes, <laughs> I can't wait. Actually, so are you going to be, to be the judge? For the pageant? I'm not sure. I think we'll just watch to see how it unfolds. We, we, Albert is understanding that we don't usually plan or mm. there's no strategy or analyzing. Mm. We just allow everything to unfold because something could be larger than we can even see right now. Mm. So we like to wait and watch and just enjoy. Okay. It's a spiritual journey, yes. per mm. se.